Here we can see the weathermodule.com gadget has been added to our iGoogle page. This is it right here. Once we're here, we need to just add a location. I'm just going to put 90210. You can click Add and Save. And there you have it. It's been added. Changing or adding a location in the gadget is simply done by going to the settings of the gadget itself. And we get there by hovering over the title bar and clicking on this little drop down and going to edit settings. It is very similar in Internet Explorer as with Netscape, uh, Google Chrome, any one of your browsers. But they may appear, appear just a little bit different. So here we can see uh, in Internet Explorer uh, it's not showing the correct thing but it is there. So here we'll just click Edit Settings. And we can either remove our locations by clicking on the little X or adding a new location. You can add a location either by the zip code or by the name. Here I will add Las Vegas. And you can hit Add, Save, or just usually you can just hit Enter. And here we have a, an error. Multiple locations were found for Las Vegas. Please be more specific. Well, there's probably Las Vegas in a couple of different states. So let's we add Las Vegas, and we want Las Vegas, Nevada. So we'll just add that. Click Save, and it was found. So here we can see Las Vegas. Clicking on any one of these links will bring you to the weathermodule.com webpage. Going back to our iGoogle page, we can look at some of the more advanced options. We can do that by going to Edit Settings and Show Settings and clicking Save. And here are our advanced settings.